Here it is, day seven. It's the last full day of the trip. I'm not really that excited for it, to be honest with you. Um, the come downs can, that kind of settled in. Dallas ain't the same no more. All my friends have gone home. However, I ain't about to sit here all day and not make the most of my last day of my holiday. Now, the good thing is, I've just had like an eight hour sleep for the first time since I've been here. In fact, it's probably more than that, it's probably like 10 hours, so I'm kind of catching up, I'm kind of like getting fresh again. I can't wait to go out on about today. I'm going to the Dallas Mavericks versus Houston Rockets. That's tonight, it starts at, I don't even know what time is that, 8.30pm. Okay, it starts at 8.30pm, so I've got pretty much seven hours to waste now. It's about one o'clock. Yep, it's five, ten to one. Um, so yeah, going to get out and about. Just going to waste time and I'm going to wander about and see where I can go eat first. And then from there, we'll, uh, we'll figure something out. There's an IHOP about an hour's walk away. 55 minutes, that's for a regular person. I could probably do it in a bit quicker than that, obviously. Um, that gives you an average person speed. So I'm going to try it out. An hour away, 55 minutes, that's what there, pretty much one straight road. I can figure this out. One of the weird things about Texas is all its huge roads that are all kind of like side by side and overlapping each other. It seems like they're all going to pretty much the same place to me. You know, it all seems like a bit of a waste, but that's how they want to do it. The good thing is, is that it seems to be wherever you are, there's always a straight road to find your way to where you want to go. So that's always a bonus, like now, it's pretty much one straight road I'm walking down trying to find this IHOP. But it's not just about IHOP, there's a subtext. It's about enjoying your time. So I could have got a cab there, no problem. The cab would have been cheap, it's a six minute drive. But what's gonna happen then? I'm just gonna quickly get to IHOP, quickly get back, and then I'll be like, oh, what am I gonna do now? I wanna look about, I wanna see things, I want to decide for myself what I want to do next, so hopefully I'll stumble across something. And even if not, I've had a good walk of it, I've had a good journey, I've soaked up a bit of the local sites. Over here is what they call the medical district. You've got parkland there, there's another parkland there, there's a hospital down there, there's a hospital over there, there's a hospital over there. I find it really strange how all the hospitals are kind of located in the same area. What if there's an emergency somewhere else in town? Where are you gonna go? You have to come here, unfortunately. I mean, I'm guessing there is stuff other places, but they, why are five in like one place? This one's huge as well. Okay, so I'm kind of breaking all kinds of traffic laws here just to get to IHOP. I'm gonna have to definitely get a cab on the way back. Um, there's places where there's not even a sidewalk to walk. There's places where it just turns into a straight out motorway and there's nothing on the side. Um, and also, I'm probably going to get lost. It's only one straight road, like I said, so it can't be that hard. But when do you find when to turn off onto the next one? That's the question. Should be all right. Let's hope for more sidewalks. And not just more areas of grass I have to walk on. Oh, I see walking on this grey bit of the road. See that there? The white bit next to the grey. Slightly less grey, that lighter grey. I was walking on there. We'll get there. Down here, the hospital, there's something going on. Probably some kind of abortion rally or something like that. I'm not sure. I've come to a, a classic car showroom over here. Look at these bad boys. showroom that way. Well that's it. I seem to be lost in the middle of fucking nowhere. I might ask someone for directions or I might just keep walking and try and figure it out. Do you know how incredible your guy is? Do you know how incredible he is? He's only got and found it. He's only gone and got lost in the middle of nowhere. He made a quick turn on instinct. I'm like, yo, 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 
It's over here. Oh, this is the one. Mozzarella sticks, marinara sauce, white chocolate pancakes. Okay, so just finished out in IHOP. I thought I'd get a cab back and then I thought, nah, do you know what? It's a nice sunny day. I need to make the most of this weather, make the most of my time. I'll just walk it, I'll save a bit of money that way as well. So yeah, um, need to keep my eyes on the road though. Because the roads are weird over here, they drive on the wrong side of the road, they even drive on the wrong side of the car. So you don't really know what's going on. If you're in Dallas and you want to pick up some adult DVDs or toys, here's your place. Here's one. Jimmy John's, what's that known for in wrestling? Being the sponsor of Brock Lesnar, that's what. Okay then, that's it. It's the end of day seven. Whew. What a trip it's been. Um, I've loved it. I've absolutely loved it. Um, obviously, I've got one more day left of vlogs. That's the travel journey home. That's the tough one. But uh, look what time it is. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, and I've got to be up at roughly 8 a.m. So about five hours sleep. Cool. Um, just got out of the shower. I've been to the Mavericks versus the Rockets today. Overall thoughts on going to a live basketball game, especially that it's very American. from the action itself.
A lot of, you know, I think each team gets a timeout each in each period. There's lots of breaks when the ball goes out of play. There's lots of breaks for like cheerleaders. People getting the chance to shoot free throws, um, who aren't players, who are just you know, just fans, and they can win prizes and all kinds of stuff like that. It, it's kind of cool. It's an experience. I, I did kind of enjoy it because I was by myself, though. It was kind of a bit flat. I was tired, so it felt a bit flat as well. But yeah, the game was decent. Um, the thing with basketball games is they're all pretty, very, pretty close. Like no one ever runs up a score on the other team. So like this one, like in the last like, five seconds of the game, Houston had a chance to like level it up, but. Um, they failed, uh, they didn't make it. Um, I liked uh, James Harden, I thought he was cool. I liked uh, Barea, JJ Barea, I think he was good. Um, but yeah, in terms of the Rockets versus the Mavs, uh, NBA is it's cool, it's, it's enjoyable, but there's just too many breaks in play. You need someone there to kind of talk to through the breaks. Luckily there was Wi-Fi, so I was messaging people, etc. Uh, then I went to see the uh, Dallas Skyline, that was nice. There it is, the famous Dallas Skyline. Uh, you might see a picture of it pop up now. The picture doesn't do it justice. Uh, actually, being there li live in person, do it better justice. If you saw a professional picture, it looked you know a lot better than not just one with me standing there like a pillock. Um, then I went to Whataburger, tried Whataburger for the first time. It was decent. Got a a water catch. It's called it's the fish burger. Um, I'm not a big meat lover. I'll be honest with you. Um, so yeah, I got the I got that. I got a root beer with it. That was decent. Uh, again, enjoyed the meal. Actually, I've not really had many meals while I've been here as you can tell from the you know lack of content I've been talking about and been talking about how hungry I am I think one day I went 48 hours without eating what's wrong with me I'm in Texas I mean in the US people always talk about the food they're gonna ask me in work like oh what was the food like and I'm gonna say don't really remember all I had was pizza and fast food but anyway it's been a good trip uh, it's been a good day relaxing day not really you know put a lot of effort in but I've done you know Done a couple of things I wanted to do, like go to Whataburger, go to an NBA game, go to IHOP, and then yeah, I got to see the, uh, the I was going to say the Nashville scandal, the Dallas Skyline as an added bonus. With that, I'm out. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all soon with tomorrow's, hopefully, final video of the trip uh, where I get home. So.